prophesy that one day Papa Yao will plant you in the land. But perhaps before that, you get to visit. Last ago, we went to visit Israel. Yes, we did. And so Hadassah and I have three travel tips for you today. Travel tip number one. Learn how to say the word goodbye. Goodbye. In Hebrew, it will make your life a little bit easier as you try to interact with the Jewish, local Jewish community. So how do you say the word goodbye in Hebrew? We're not very, we're not proficient or by any means fluent in Hebrew. So go ahead and tell me how to spell it, Asa. L E H I T R A. Come with the. Then a hyphen? Yeah. O T. O T. So you see how to say to write that? Leitro. So when you want to say goodbye in Hebrew, while you're there visiting in Israel, say Leitrot. Leitrot. <laughs> Very nice. So, travel tip number two. Travel tip number two is when you go to Israel, you must get some music to bring back with you. Travel tip number three where to get this CD? The Nazareth Village. You need to go see the Nazareth village in Nazareth. They have created what they think it would have been like when Yeshua was there. And they have this beautiful synagogue. I absolutely love the synagogue there. They have a shepherd there with sheep. They have a little tiny field. They have olive trees. They can show you how things are done. A wine press and a little table. They, they also have this background music that was playing. And I was like, I like that music. I want that. tips today. That's your cue. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I can't wait to meet you in, in Israel. So remember, it's his land. So no matter what people are doing on it or to it right now, one day, the prophecy says that one day, the scattered will come back, clean it up, and call it home. Y'all bless your journey to, to